Onivia. League of Legends highlights. Powered by ArcaneBet.com. Bet live on eSports. Here, which means that's going to be a cannon on the top side of the map, and H2K, they're going to rely on that Ivor turning someone into a tank, as we talked about earlier, because they do not have one on the lineup. So I'm a little skeptical. Not a difficult feat against a cannon, but luckily for him, Odoamne, aware that he doesn't have all the kill pressure in the world right now, has opted for the early Cole. Oh! Exile in trouble. Does heal up a little bit here. Febivin has the overstate as well. Come first blood for Febivin. H2K a little bit too wary to continue C. Samus running forward, looking to hand deliver it, but the cannon is moving forward. Lots of damage coming out. Visit Chachi is taken down. Twitch is spraying and praying, trying to get something, but out they go. Lantern saves the day. Samix and Hillisang are going to have to back off this tower because there are too many members of H2K. J flashes forward. Hook connects. That's the play. H2K needed. Big lead coming in. Beautiful dive coming in. Oh, well, looks being hooked up, so much damage goes on to him. The Shen on the way in. Can they kill him before the Shen connects? Now pulled back in. Visit Chalkin, they're trying to burn through Odawamne. They're making it look easy. Samix is hungry for blood. He's already gotten one. Rangar's already gotten one as well, so he's going to walk back in the bush. Will leap back out, looking for the extra stack of Ferocity. Going to connect one, going to connect two. Damage keeps on coming. Spirit's Refuge not going to save the day, however. Still training back and forth. His Exile and Febivin look to fight in the mid lane. Scatter the Wheat comes out. There's the ball. Now he's moving forward. Ultimate goes in. Exile still alive, but Febivin has the damage. Outclassed once with plays down. Bottom lane. And Flash got the it. Got it connected. That is such a strong engage coming in from Visit Chachi. Man, what explosive play from both sides. You well, they just continue. Green standing United is available, but for now we'll just settle for an attack speed steroid and a push. But that's the hook going to connect. Hillisang not going to flash down the end, and he's trapped under tower. But now trying to flash to safety. Bars cooldowns have been nerfed. We have a 1v1 on the top side of the map. But Wami dishing out so much damage. Spirit Refuge going to keep him safe for now. Hillisang sniped out. Let's go back to the 1v1 exchange because Visit Chachi's getting a kill as well. We're getting killed as well. Xerzi now running for his life. Folks, it's an absolute bloodbath. I don't even know what to say about it. Extremely bright if you are H2K fan, but here comes Samix. Going to get a little bit of damage down on the Febivin, but there's Odawamne waiting off to the side. Febivin is now in trouble. Cleanse is up, hitting damage onto Hillisang. The Shen is coming in as well. This is a fight for the Unicorns of Love 1. Good damage comes in from the Vladimir, but the ult has been used by the Ken, and he does get taken down in the end. Twitch is on the backside trying to dish out the damage, but Nuclear is just as strong right now, and he's looking to take out Visit Chachi. The arrow comes in. That's the double kill for the bars. Samix now back, and they continue. Hillisang gets the hook. Just so clean on the Blitzcrank. Febivin now running for his life. Good damage comes in from Exile, but the tower is being tanked. Odawamini now going to try to pick up Exile on the back half. He has to run back through the turret. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it. Heals up. Odawamini takes him that, down. Man. End up trading another. And now we, ha we have nothing but praise for him as Chachi's intro. Stun coming in. Spirit Truck provides a little bit of time, but it may not be enough. Ivern's on the way as well. Visit Chachi set to fall. Trigger Seed going to stop him from going anywhere, and that's yet another kill for H2K as Odawamne walks it down. The power of cannon lane counterpart. Two levels above. Right now, though, they're trying to kill. Not going to be enough for him to fight two champions, though. Stun guns go down. Odawamne running for his life. Visit Chachi going to pick that one up. Nice punish coming in from the Unicorns of Love. The Battle of the Ninjas. Seriously in trouble. Knifecat trying to find his way to safety. Daisy coming in and Visit Chachi now running for his life. Hook comes over the wall from Chain. The Chain CC goes in and that is yet another death for Visit Chachi. And now a four-man unit of H2K grouped up in the bottom lane. They used a fair number of ultimates so they don't want to continue the... What we are seeing there is a hook. Pulls in. Daisy on the way. We can hear Thrill of the Hunt being used. Now going to help Chain forward. The Exile in trouble does move out, but there's so much happening on the back side. Kennen is the one in trouble. Exile does manage to make it out, but the fight keeps on moving. Visit Chachi moves back, trying to hold on to his life. Flash forward from Nuclear, though. That means he's going to be dominating. Now moving back. H2K find a single pick. Hillisang hoping to find a hook. Going to connect. Baron getting lower. Has not reset yet. 2K dropping lower. Here he goes. on Exile. Leaping forward. Wants to get a little bit more. Hillisang trying to find the hook. Oh, it's it. Yes, Samix dishing out so much damage. That's two kills. Baron resetting, but Unicorns of Love, they've got it in their sights. Exile says, I may not have had the laning phase, but now is my time. And unloads. He eviscerates H2K, and they've come back oh. into the game with an ace and the Baron. From our arms wide, Unicorn plushie. Oh. You can just see the amount of damage oh. that they should have been able to do is Hillisang. Hillisang. Gonna get picked off here. Survives much longer than expected, but H2K, that's gonna slow down Unicorns in their tracks. We'll make it harder. Good engage on the Exile, takes a bit of damage. Odawamne moving forward, hoping to chain the CC that's together. Going to force the pool at some point. Out comes the Rengar ultimate. Exile wants to keep this going. Now he's gonna put a little bit more. Down comes the damage, but Odawamne pulled out of the fight and removed as a problem. 
Vladimir all gonna pop, but no one's going to... They need to keep this Unicorns of Love squad separated. Keep the pressure onto Chachi so that he cannot ulti in. And even though Exile gets chunked down to no HP, Shed Ultimate, the lifesteal, flash forward! That's so a bit of revenge! Kill. Exactly that. Finally, he gets some redemption. is moving forward. Here we go. Going in onto Yankos. Yankos potentially in trouble. Root Collar does connect. Should be okay, but everything's gonna be burned now. Pulled back into the team. It's the cannon who's caught out. Surprise! Unicorns now want to break open that inhibitor. They already got the tower. Now they just want to... Yankos for Hillisang. Oh, oh, the wall. over the wall. Bye-bye, Shay. Gonna try to walk back through, but it is not enough. Now they have to run for their life, but the Twitch does use the QSS, and he's able to consistently dish out the damage. Nuclear not able to respond, despite the strength of the AD carry. It's Odawame who is locked up. It is Vizichaji with the flash taunt. It is Bevan now running for his life. The scatter of the week comes out to delay what could just be the inevitable. Poison ticking. Now they've got Daisy, and they may have Yankos. He has to pull back. Taunt it up means it's gonna be tough to explain, but Exile takes so much damage. Oda Wamne does so much in a one-on-one -on -one scenario. Flash forward, flash out, teams trading skills. That's gonna be the hook onto Vizichachi, not quite what they wanted. They're poking at each other, looking for opportunities. Keep your eyes on Hillisang, he does manage to get Che. Che trying to make it out. Zerzi on the back line, he's looking to kill Nuclear. He knows where the damage is. Keep your eyes on the Rengar, where's he gonna go? It may not matter, but Samix, will he drop down? In goes Zerzi, Nuclear's gonna he's get taken dead. down. That's what they want, Samix. He sees his opportunity, he starts to unload the damage. He's there to back up the fight. This is domination. This is the Unicorns of Love. They're gonna take the fight. They're gonna take the ace, and they may just take the series. Unicorns when the timing is right, Samix starts to dish out the damage. He starts to clean up the fight, and it is redemption for Exile. It is the win coming in for Unicorns of Love, and at the end of the day, they are uncontested at the top of Group B. Just the funeral pyre for Che as they burn down the base. They make it look all too easy. That's the win for Unicorns of Love. Two, one victory in the end. We have to praise H2K closer in so many ways than it was in the spring season, but still not enough. And Unicorns of Love continue to be a team that you cannot give any window of opportunity to. No, no, not at all. My words. H2K, this game was so in their control. They had like a four or five K gold lead at one point when Oda was dismantling Chachi. Cannon on the sideline was just...